Hello, Leo. This is your September 1st to September 15th, 2016 read. For the main read, I will be using the Shadowscapes Tarot by Stephanie Pumunla. And for the advice cards, support cards, I'll be using the Romance Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Decks have been pre-shuffled. Let's go right into it. We're starting right with that. Okay. Okay. All right, we got a busy, it looks like it's kind of busy. You got a little more cards than usual, but that's fine. Starting off with the crowning energy, we have the Six of Pentacles um, upside down. <coughs> and I'm definitely a person that just goes by the information and energy I get from a card. I feel like this is kind of like throwing away money. Uh, I feel like it's very, I'm feeling like spendthrift, like just giving out money too much, just going out to eat, just kind of throwing caution to the wind. That's what I'm feeling my first impression of this is. And I feel like that's going to go through this whole time frame where it's just kind of indulging, doing what you want. Um, I don't feel like it's a lot, like it's nothing that's breaking the bank, but I feel like you might make a couple uh, purchases through this time that eh, you didn't really need or you, you'll buy something get it home and then it just sits there <laughs> that type of thing um, I feel like you might uh, pop for dinner a couple times and you really didn't need to that type of thing all right going into the beginning September 1st keeping that energy in mind you got the Queen of Pentacles reversed which again it just especially when you tie it in with the, the six of Pentacles reversed I feel like I feel like it's someone who's just not paying attention to their finances and just kind of letting things go to the wayside. Um, but I also feel like you you want to do what you want to do, and you're gonna you're gonna do that. Like <laughs> you want to buy something, so you're gonna buy something. You're like, I have the money, and I want to buy something, so I'm gonna buy something. I feel like that energy coming through. Um, <clears throat> again, though, I feel like there's a, a lot of little purchases. Nothing really break in the bank, maybe like a laptop at the most. And you buy it, you get it home, you just kind of set it aside and you forget about it. And then like months from now you'll go like, oh yeah, I never used that. So like one of those situations. Um, this is definitely like a defiant feel like I have the money. It's my money. I earned it. I'll spend what I want. That's kind of, that's really a strong feel right here, which definitely is your business. Um... Page of Cups first is next. Um, pages are a lot time. A lot of times they're like talking, giving information. I feel like you're really on, like you're indulging. You're kind of having a lot of time indulging. I feel like there's people around you you're indulging in. Like it's kind of like you're pouring out the cup, and the people below you or people around you are just kind of catching the benefit from it. Uh, a little out of control, like. Even though it's Page of Cups, I feel like just social times, hanging out, I feel like you're giving more, you're just, it's a lot of spendthrift, I'm getting that a lot, like, just, you know, I want to do it, I'm going to do it, not worrying about, you know, where the money's going. Sorry about that, I thought I turned that off. Um, and the people around you that you're hanging out with, they're kind of catching that, like, a lot of times this card means choices, but the way I'm feeling here, I feel like you're giving out and they're catching it. And they're trying to catch up. I feel like they're trying to keep up a lot of times, too. Um, some of them are going to try to be a little bit more diplomatic and, like, point out, like, you don't need to do this. You don't need to do all this stuff. But they're also going to be kind of torn and be like, you know, I like hanging out with them, with her, him, her, whoever it may be. So why not? Like, what's the big deal? Um, but definitely, fun, fun times with other people. I just feel like you're going a little overboard. Uh, you're definitely having an emotional time, a good time, just feeling your roots, having a good time. Again, not breaking the bank. Um, I do feel though that if you're not careful, this situation could get out of control. Uh, the people that, that are benefiting from your spendthrift ways might kind of try to keep that going a little longer than they should because I got the magician reversed. And in this situation, I feel like it's maybe, you know, kind of trying to take advantage. Like, you're giving a little, and they're trying to take a lot. They're like, well, you're, you gave me that, so I wonder how far I can get with this. That's kind of the energy I'm getting here. And, like, using what they can to their advantage to make that happen. Um, 
I don't feel like it's gonna work out. In fact, I'm gonna show you the rest of the environment line for you here. Uh, this is, so this is how it pops up. These three in order. Uh, this where I saw them trying to catch, you know, take advantage. Well, in the beginning, I think they're just like reaping the rewards. I don't really feel like they're taking advantage, but I think that as it kind of goes forward a couple days, they start to like, you know, what else can I get type situation. Um, but I don't feel like that goes to their advantage. I feel like you kind of nip that in the bud, and it, you might see it for what it is. You kind of set and set that person or those people straight, and then they go back and they like they they recognize that you are correct. Um, I don't know how. I think I feel like you kind of like you might snap at them and. They like try to take, try to take, try to take, and then all of a sudden you kind of like snap, and you like have a mini blow up, and kind of say, "What? What? What's the deal?" Like, "All right, yes, that, that, that." Like, "How much do you expect me to give you?" Like that type of thing. I feel like that's what comes through there, and I feel like they they realize you're right, and it, it just like a little out of control, and then comes back into control. Um, the line of your secession. As we leave, it's like this is where we're starting from. You're going from the Queen of Pentacles, reverse, which you're going to do what you want, spend what you want, it's your business, having a good time, kind of like, I feel like this is more of the same information, having social times. Sorry, like I said, I thought I turned that off. Um, but as you go forward into the next, it's actually, if we're reading right to left, it's going to look this way. There we go. Uh, the next card is the Page of Wands, which... I'm feeling like you're you're standing up for yourself, but I feel like it's kind of in the same energy scheme, kind of like, all right, yeah, I wanted to do that, I wanted to hang out with you guys and have a good time, and yeah, I don't mind, I didn't mind paying for that, but you know, that doesn't mean I'm paying for everything all the time. Like I feel like this energy keeps pushing forward. Um, when this happens, that's when you, this when the they kind of you, you kind of tell them, hey. You know, getting a little ridiculous. I'm, I've kind of had enough, and I don't feel like it comes across diplomatically. I feel like you flat out tell them, "I no, I've had enough. I've given you enough. That's enough." Um, after that little moment, which I feel like it's not a shock to you that you would say something like that if the, if this is resonating with you. Um, in fact, you probably think of the people that I'm talking about right now, and I don't feel like it's the first time. It just kind of like ebbs and flows that type of situation. I think that you're going to be aware of that, and when I'm looking at this, I feel like when you look back, you're realizing, you know, all right, I get a little spendy, I start giving to certain people, and then they start to take a little bit of advantage. I feel like you're taking a little bit of ownership, and you're also taking stock of that relationship, or those relationships, however that might be, and you're realizing, you know, if I don't want this to go crazy, and I need to, like... I need to, you know, hold back maybe something or do something a little different here um, because it seems like everything is fine until I start d dishing out the money and then once I start dishing out the money, they expect the world and then I don't like that. So something I have to do a little differently to keep the good part of this relationship and to maybe squelch or keep that at a minimum with the, the taking part. I feel like this is a part of your personality uh, where every now and then you get a little spendy, a little, and you, you know... Tend to sorry, you tend to uh, spend on the people you love. Um, <clears throat> I picked the wrong. I went to pick one of the support cards, but I got this card from the uh, Shadowscapes Tarot by Stephanie Pumunla, and I'm feeling like this is kind of connecting the energy all together. We are starting Virgo. We're, we're into Virgo at this point, uh, which is the sign after yours. And I'm feeling like, um, I feel like it's kind of like the summer's over feel, and you don't really care for it, because this is connecting with the crowning energy, and you telling them, you know, enough is enough, and then kind of looking into that and evaluating that relationship. I feel like this is connecting all three of those energies together, and it's reversed, which it's still, it's a good thing. I feel like you're looking at a relationship that's definitely staying in your life, a relationship that's not going anywhere. I also feel like it's kind of almost like you're taking a uh, stock about what what part do you own about what's happening here and what part do they own. 
um, even though you know you were a little giving and maybe got a little crazy, that really doesn't constitute someone taking advantage of you. And I feel like you're looking at it and you're seeing the good and the bad at the same point and you're just trying to find different ways to handle it. Like I said, I don't feel like these people are new or leaving your life at all. I just feel like you're looking at and there's people that you definitely, they're good people, they've been in your life, you like them. It's just this once in a while this situation comes up and you just it kind of rocks the boat a little bit. Uh, even though this is upside down, it's still a positive card in the sense that it's it's a good staple in your life. It's just you're kind of looking at it and taking a closer look like what happened? Why, why does this happen? What do I need to do to make sure this doesn't keep happening? All right, let's... These are coming through that way too. Okay. This isn't right, is it? Okay. When we start... <laughs> this is actually quite funny. Um, when you start with the Queen of Pentacles reversed and the Page of Cups reversed, which again, this is that... It's my money, I'll do what I want. <laughs> and this is I want to spend money on my friends or family and I'll, I'm going to do that because I love these people and get a little over get a little over uh, a little over um, zealous with it it's very flirty I feel like you want to be you, you kind of want to be the center of attention at this time and I feel like money is the way you're doing it um, if there's something else you do like if you uh, are maybe the life of the party and maybe without or if you can find a way to do it without being the center part of the monetary situation, I should say, uh, where you can like accompany these people or be around and just kind of be a f the fun life of the party person. I feel like you're using your money to enhance the situation, to pu punch it up to the next level, if you will. And that's where this flirty energy is. Like you're gonna want that attention. It's not a bad thing. Like it's completely, it's completely fine to have a good time and enjoy people and have some of the spotlight like why not why not but when the money comes into play i feel like you you just want to intensify it a little bit punch up to the next level of enjoyment and it just gets a little out of control again it's your i feel like your attitude is like it's my money and i this is how i enjoy life why not and the only reason i can say is why not is because it is going to get a little out of control and it's going to kind of rock the boat a little bit with your friendships or family members um and how you see them I do feel like it's gonna come in at some at some degree uh, I'm getting that laptop again so I'm almost feeling like you're gonna buy someone a laptop and then they don't really even need it or want it um, I feel like that's what happens like I feel like you extend a gift like that and they're like well I don't really want that or that or like I'm when I'm seeing this laptop I feel like you give it to someone and then afterwards they kind of ask you for the receipt and you're like why do you want the receipt and they want to exchange it for the money is what they want to do and you're like that's not why i gave it to you i gave it to you because i thought you needed it that's the energy i'm kind of feeling here um again not bad that you want to be the flirt and have a good time i would just like i feel like the money is just going to be wasted in the long run <coughs> going forward where do we, we want to go to this card next okay now when this card comes up, I know it says soulmate, and you see two people here in love, isn't that nice? That's great. Um, I I come through a few different ways on this. Like, a lot of times I've noticed lately especially, it speaks to those relationships that are very deep and connected with your life uh, that don't really go anywhere. Um, for example, family or close friends. Like, it's not just love uh, sexual love it's always something very important to you and something that makes you feel really good but that can be dare I go there like, not in a sexual way of course at all but like a child or a family member or a friend that you just really really click with them and you have a great time with them um, I've had people in my life that this comes up for that um, there's no romance there's no there's nothing of that gonna happen but uh, we get along so well, it's like that soulmate relationship where you just kind of, you're on that same level, you speak kind of the same language, you have the same interests, you just kind of do that. There's no, there's no intimacy in a physical level, uh, beyond like a hug or how, hi, hi, how you doing, it's good to see you. 
but you know that connection is very strong and very important to you that type of thing and they typically like they they're aware of it just as much as you are uh, sometimes people aren't as aware of it they just seem to go along and uh, they know that you're important to them they just don't catch on to why but that same energy is there and I feel like that's what these people are like it's saying that like especially when you're reviewing it with the uh, with the Sun reversed still a good situation it's just something you have to look at why did this happen what's going on what do I need to do because these people uh, I definitely have strong deep feelings for them and they're not leaving my life what do I need to do to fix this um, I'm getting like a little version of like a long-haired girl and by girl could be late teens early 20s that maybe you spoil and just kind of takes advantage in this again whether it's a child of yours or somebody who's important to you or something like that it's just someone who's staying in your life I don't feel like it's an intimacy thing I feel like it's just this person is important and will always be important and you know they make mistakes and you're just kind of like yeah they make mistakes and how do I you know correct this type of situation um, this came up for them, by the way, and all I can really, all I seem to say, like, I really don't see this part as much, or this, or the, actually this guy. I see this lady with her arms, like, give me, give me, give me more, give me more, I want more. Like, I feel like, um, I feel like this person's in a very needy place right now, or just kind of wants, I want more, I want more, like, very needy place. Um, if, if I was talking to this person that's connected to this, that's kind of like around you and doing these things, I would uh, I would say that they need to concentrate on what they truly enjoy in life and what, what do they truly want, because it's not monetary that's holding them back. It's something else that they're trying to fill the void with. Um, and it, I know it does say calling in your soulmate, but I feel like in this case it's more like them, like they're just they just keep wanting things and just keep taking and they feel like that's going to fill them up and it's not going to they need to slow down and realize what is it that they're trying to fill up what is this void and what what should be in that void that what they're putting in is not filling like some people eat some people shop some people do other things to fill that void but what is the void meant for like it's like trying to put a circle in a square hole like you keep throwing circles and balls in this square hole and it's never going to fill what is the actual square like what should be in that hole that's what they need to figure out so they can stop that uh, and if you have one of those conversations where you're trying to figure out like why do they do that or you're actually talking with them and like why why do you keep trying to get more stuff from me when you know i love you this and you didn't even really need that like why are you doing this they're trying to fill a void and i feel like when i get that it's like a brown haired long haired girl late teens early 20s I feel like she doesn't know where she fits in life yet and that's where the problem is um, I don't I'm not getting a bad energy I just feel like like not did I dare say not polished I don't know if I want to use that term um, just like a cake that's halfway through baking just hasn't gotten to that part where you can take it out of the oven and frost it and then hopefully eat it later it's just it's in process she's in the process of figuring it out and because she's kind of like you know trying to fill that void so fast and she feels like it needs to be filled it's just coming through in a kind of a greedy way um and i don't feel like it's i don't feel like that's always the case it just kind of pops up every now and then and uh like getting gifts makes this person feel good so that's kind of why she tries to fill the void, fill the void that way. And I'm just going to go along with that, with the the information flowing through. Remember, this is a general read, so if it's someone else or the, someone else's characteristics that you can connect with, disregard the physical um, characteristics I have mentioned. All right. So for the whole read, the overall read, uh, I feel a little spendthrifty. Um, uh, again, like you want the spotlight, you want the attention. That's great. Um, just be careful how much you spend. Like. If you're that person with the laptop, I'd recommend not getting a laptop. Maybe um, planning through or seeing what they actually do want. Um, you could always resort, resort to a gift card if you want, but I feel like it'll still just be spendthrift even then. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy the laptop, but I wouldn't give a gift card. Uh, I might maybe make a date to go shopping with them to find out what they need and then help them get what they need and but talk with them make sure they actually need it don't do a quick buy 
because I feel like I feel like that would be convenient for you, and that's what they would like too. But I feel like it's just something that's not really going to get used. Definitely your business, whether you do that or not. But I feel like that situation is going to bring that into the next focus, uh, which is going to get you to reevaluate and say, you know, why is why does this keep happening? Why does this circle happen? A uh, good person, just still in the part of life where there's um, evolving. Uh, and I know that I did give an example of a younger girl. That doesn't mean that this can't be someone in your life, if this resonates with you, that's older than you, or maybe in their 40s to 50s, because, you know what, <laughs> just because somebody's young doesn't mean they're not developed, just because somebody's older doesn't mean they are. Uh, sometimes people learn that the hard way, but hey, if that's the way it works out for you, then I would keep that into account too. We'd like to think as we get older, we get smarter, but uh, some people just uh, prefer just not to. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> and some people are really quick in the beginning. It's just, you know, life has so many different variations. All right. Well, that is your read for September 1st to September 15th, 2016. Uh, any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below. Or if you'd like a personal read from me, shoot me an email at jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.